Um, all right. So thank you again for coming. Um, this is a brief agenda for today's one hour session. Uh, like I said, a brief introduction on what it is we're trying to do in the upcoming COPs. Then we're just gonna have um, a, a bit of a Dubai Expo recap, refresh our minds um, about what, what happened there and uh, your experience there. Uh, we're then gonna move on to talk um, about the important uh, topic here, which is the next phase of the BP and the role that media uh, and, and you will play in it or could play in it. Uh, and then we'll just finish off with some feedback, next steps, any ideas, any questions, any suggestions you may have. So, um, <clears throat> why are you all here today? Well, uh, as you know, we've been doing these COPs for the last two years. Um, and the, the purpose of these COPs was to bring um, the, the BP senior journalists, so the, the journalists that make up um, the BP media community together to exchange, um, to, um, to share um, opportunities, ideas, and just to kind of like create an even more close knit community. Um, but the gradually that kind of the, the focus started to shift a bit and started to become a bit vague. So we uh, started getting having more uh, attend high attendance rates from non BP um, media uh, experts um, and more younger journalists or aspiring journalists uh, who might be starting their career uh, in the Middle East um, and who were hungry for uh, getting to know other people, being part of a network. So that was very successful. Um, and but now we, because the BP is going through a new phase, now there's this important transition, um, we need to refocus a bit and kind of uh, make the objective of these COPs a bit clearer, which is why today you will see that there aren't only BP members, there's, uh, there are other members um, that have attended previous COPs. Uh, but are not necessarily part of the BP. So hopefully this is a good opportunity to inform them as well about the, what the Blue Peace media, uh, what Blue Peace is, uh, what the role of media in it, et cetera. Um, so we've brought you here today because we received some important, some very useful feedback from you um, regarding, uh, regarding the future of the Blue Peace um, initiative uh, and the role of the media can play in it. And we now want to build on that feedback and actually have some practical steps uh, so that it just doesn't, you know, get put away in a drawer. Um, and so, yeah, so thank you for coming. And just a recap of what it is that we're trying to do uh, in general with the Blue Peace media. Um, we want to bring not only professional media and communi communication experts, but also want to interact with water experts in the region uh, to continue promoting sustainable water practices and cooperation in the Middle East. Um, and yeah, foster knowledge. We also want to play, um, pay a lot of focus to fostering knowledge, knowledge exchange and information sharing. Um, Okay, and I remind you that we have, uh, from all the previous COPs, we've covered some very interesting topics. We've brought in uh, some really high level experts uh, around the world, from around the world. Um, and we've got all these useful resources that we encourage you to, to use um, and to explore. So I'm gonna let you know later where you can find those. And so hopefully we can start build, building this database of uh, valuable uh, information, data uh, that you can use it if you ever need to write about a specific topic or if you need to get in touch with an expert in this field, etc. Um, the team today, you know us all, it's Hamza uh, from CAS, Maya Sam and myself from CWAS. 
and Nadine from MICT. And then Francesca, of course, but I will introduce her. You, well, you know her already, but she will talk in a bit. And now I'm going to quickly, for those of you that went at the Dubai Expo, I'm just going to um, play a very short um, part of an episode that Madwa had on her in her um, TV show, where she talks about the Dubai okay. Expo. Adel. This Sorry? is supposed to say West Asia, by the way. We corrected this, but you have the uncorrected version. This is supposed to say West Asia. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for pointing that out. Well, we'll just pretend that there's an Asia here because I have yeah. a question. Uh, so thanks, Marwa, for sharing that with us. And My pleasure. We'll just play a few seconds of this. Maybe increase volume, Cora. Sorry. Uh, we don't hear maybe the sharing uh, of the volume has been increased. Uh -huh. Can you bring the volume up though? It was very... Um, I think it's in the sharing options. Uh, share with audio uh, yes. I think in one of the... I've got it. Thanks for that. Okay. Is that better? No. Okay. Okay, there, there is an, um, something's happened with my You Zoom. can find it, um, I'm sorry, I'll, I can just say, you can find the corrected version on the website of Press TV. I'll share uh, the link to that website with Cora once we're done. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to try with the speakers. The party states within the work? harmonious initiative, achieve sustainable development goals and transform water into a tool towards peace after the COVID pandemic disrupted the acceleration of its pace. The Middle East stream took part in the meetings along with the participants in the water and peace dialogues, which were held by the Foundation for Media through Cooperation and Transformation, MICT, in cooperation and with the support of the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, SDC, in Dubai last week. Attendees of the Blue Peace Initiative stressed the need to proceed with building the necessary confidence between the member states, namely Iraq, Syria, Turkey, Jordan, and Lebanon, while accentuating the necessity of having Iran on board too in the water initiative calling for resolving transboundary water issues within peaceful solutions. More in this following report. Countries in West Asia are concerned about the challenges of water resources resulting from the repercussions of climate change, population growth, increased migration, and changes in land use patterns. This prompted regional and international effort to find quick solutions before the water crisis in the region worsens. The Blue Peace Initiative held an extensive conference at the Dubai Expo 2020 last week to find the necessary proposals and solutions under the auspices of the Media Through Cooperation and Transformation MICT Foundation and with the support of the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, SDC, with a large international presence over a period of two days. The media stream was invited by the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, SDC, to take part in the events held in Dubai to follow up on the agency's work in implementing and supporting several projects at the regional level in the areas of education and building peace and water-related operations as the main issue of the greatest challenge of securing water, peace, and stability in the region for the next 50 years. This prompted the launching of the Blue Peace Initiative in 2010, which worked to introduce an innovative approach to water resource experts from riparian countries. Member states in this initiative, Syria, Iraq, Turkey, Jordan, and Lebanon, had all agreed to goals of the Blue Peace Initiative as it encourages cooperation in the field of water and promoting peace, stability, and sustainable development in the region. During a press conference held by the Director General of the Swiss... Okay. 
I won't carry on because um, we, we don't have a lot of time today, but hopefully this has given um, those of you that didn't attend the Dubai Expo uh, a general overview of what, the, what we're talking about when we say Dubai Expo, but we will go into more detail uh, in just a bit. Um, so, okay. Now uh, I'm going to give the floor to Nadine, who will talk a bit more about the Dubai Expo. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm going to talk in Arabic so that we can change the world and we'll switch around between Arabic and English at our own. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, so our trip to the Dubai Expo was after two months of interaction with the Blue Peace. COVID كثير اخر البروجرس اللي نحن بدنا نساويه مع هاي الكوميونتي والجورنالست اللي نحن كنا معتمدين عليهم. فهذه هاي الاكسبو اللي صارت مع اس دي سي بالسويس بافيليون اعطانا الفرصه انه نتناقش ونتحد ونتفاهم مع كل الهاي ليفل بوليسي ميكرز مع الاستراتيجيز مع 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 الامباسادر هيرسيلف فتعلمنا من بعض كثير واكثر شيء تعلمنا فيه هو البرين ستورمينج سيشن اللي صارت انترنلي از ام اي سي تي وسي واس ومنها طلعنا مخرجات كثير حلوه اول وحده انه نحن حابين نكثف جهودنا ليكون عندنا كوم ستراتيجي ذات وي كان ديبند اون وريليت تو از جورنالست اوف ذا بلو بيس اند ذا ليجسي اوف ذا بلو بيس بدنا نعزز النتورك تبعت البلو بيس وندخل فيها معلومات جديده، دخل فيها توبكس جديده زي كلايمت وانفايرمنت زي ما حكينا لانها متشابكه كثير بموضوع المياه وخطورتها حاليا، وحكينا حابين ندخل دول اخرى على البلو بيس عشان تكون اول انكلوسيف وجامعه لاكثر من من فكره. حكينا كمان حابين نشتغل على تعزيز المعلومات وكيف نقدر نوصل للمعلومات الصحيحه والاكيده فهاي كانت من المخرجات اللي اكثر من حدا وضحها انه هاي من المشاكل الكبيره تبعتهم انه ممكن تروح على الوزاره ويعطوك رقم وتروح على يونيسف ويعطوك رقم ثاني فكيف نقدر نوصل للارقام الصحيحه والموثوقه مش انه نضلنا نجيب معلومات وتطلع ارتكلز مو واضحه هلا شو اكد لنا دبي اكسبو بهاي يعني بهاي المؤتمر انه وجود هاي المؤتمرات بخلق الناريتيف او بخلق وجود البز حوالين موضوع المياه فنحن من خلال 3 دي ايفنت طلعنا 23 ارتكل و1 تي في ابيسود هذا بيعني انه وجود الجورنالست يوثقوا المشاكل اللي عم بتصير على موضوع المياه بقدر يكون عليه ريبل افكت كثير قوي ف فنحن يعني سعيدين كثير كان بوجودكم معنا بهذا المؤتمر وبحب اعطي هلا يعني الوقت لميسم كمان اذا بحب يزيد اي شيء Uh, shukran Nadine. Thank you so much. I think, يعني, I'll, I'll switch to English back now. Uh, يعني, one of the, let's say, most uh, pressing items that, you know, I personally got from your feedback is that, you know, instead of having the media professionals or the journalists having a more uh, reactive role in terms of covering stories or events that are actually happening and you know just reporting on those i think the capacities we have within this group is humongous and you know it qualifies for being you know not only advocates for the water sector and uh, you know covering environmental stories and you know uh, being in the leading role but also i think as content creators and, and by content creators i mean original Original content creators that they uh, initiate and they plan and they design and they implement uh, from zero to the end of that content. Uh, maybe we've seen one small sample from Marwa, which I think the, the reason we picked Marwa is because it was a video. It's easier to show on a screen in a minute or two. But having 23 articles produced in a two to three day event, I think that is huge. That is great. Maybe we need to complement that with 
uh, you know, more uh, activities that are driven by the journalists themselves uh, that are designed and then, uh, you know, can, can you know, uh, reflect on your ideas of the water sector. And I, I, can, I can, you know, give the claim that most of you know as much as any water expert know today when it comes, of course, to the regional context, the transboundary issues, water conflicts and so on. And, you know, the influence on political decisions and diplomacy, I think most of you understand uh, more than we do. So I, I think it's the right time to shift now uh, and to give you, you know, the, the driver's seat when it comes to uh, the actual implementation rather than just joining in events, reporting on activities. That's my take for now. Um, anyone that would like to put in comments or reflections about the conference? Ahrim, go. مساء الخير لكم جميعا الجو بعمان حلو كثير مع الناس غبرة عشان عادل يعني لأنه عندهم كانوا قبل الأيام في غبرة كثير عندهم بدي أحكي بأكثر من نقطة بعرفش يعني الحمد لله إحنا مستمرة يعني اليوم الجو شوية ما بيترابع حقيقة أنا انزعجت يعني أنا تعودنا الله يكون بالعون يا عادل أول شيء بدي أحكي على الفيزيت تبعت دبي كانت من أجمل الزيارات وأنجحها يعني إحنا تعودنا بالبلو بيز دائما تكون الرحلات يعني على مستوى عالي من التحضير والتهيئة والإفنت نفسها تكون ممتازة هاي كانت من أفضلها على مستوى كل إشي يعني المستوى اللوجستي وعلى المستوى المعرفي في شغلة تانية نادين أنا كنت بدي أحكي فيها ويريت يعني إذا حدا بوافقني فيها إحنا كبلو بيس لازم يكون عنا داتا معينة معلومات يعني تتحضر بعرفش من مين عن التاريخ الانيشيتف المبادرة يعني بصراحة يعني إحنا لما بلشنا مع الانيشيتف قبل عشر سنين خلينا نحكي ده عشر سنة أنا لازم أرجع على الأرتكل الأولانية تبعوني عشان أعرف بصراحة أي سنة كانت بلشت يعني يعني أنا اللي بدعو له إنه يكون في فقرتين إلى ثلاثة بيحطوهم ناس معينين إنه إيش هي المبادرة متى بلشت ليش بلشت مين الدول فيها وإيش تطمح هذا بيسهل حتى على الجيل الجديد من الصحفيين لما بده يكتب يكون عنده أو يكون في إشي متفق عليه كباك جراوند عن المبادرة ليش لأنه الناس بتصير تتحير يعني متى بلشت ليش أنا بكتب إشي فلان بكتب إشي أنا ما لاحظت يعني بس أنا عشان هي يعني كأرضية لأي شغل مستقبلي بعدين بالنسبة للتوبكس هسا في تقارير كتير دولية عم تطلع عن وضع المياه مثلا بالعالم أو بالشرق الأوسط أو بشمال إفريقيا يا ريت إحنا كصحفيين لما بيحكوا عن مبادرات دولية أو يعني التقارير نفسها لما بتحكي عن مبادرات دولية إنه ما في تعاون جماعي مثلا على الترانسبوندري ووتر ليه إحنا بخلال كتاباتنا ما ندخل إشي عن البلو بيس نحكي إنه في في مبادرة يا عمي بتحكي عن المياه والتعاون المائي بين بلدان معينة ونسقط هذا التقرير على المبادرة أنا بتمنى إنه كل حدا بيشتغل بهاي التقارير أو بنقلها بوسائل الإعلام يلفت الانتباه يعني لا في في مبادرة بالشرق الأوسط هيك هيك قصتها ونأخذ خبرة ممكن أنا أخذ خبير من لبنان أو أخذ أو ما يتأخذ من الأردن هذا بعزز انتشار المبادرة لأنه للأسف أنا في أكثر من مرة يعني شفت بتقارير الزملاء إن ما كان ينعكس شغلهم بالبلو بيس على هاي التقارير. شكرا كثير ريم ما عرفت شفتي فرانشيسكا شي واز نودينج ذا هول تايم عشان موافقه معك 100% بكل شيء عم والله كل شيء حكيتي عنه حاليا رح رح يكون جزء من البروجرام تبعنا لليوم تمام. اول شيء هلا فرانشيسكا رح لما تبلشي تحكي على البارت تبعها رح تشرح عن كيف نحن عم نبني انه اس دي سي از بيلدينج ذا ناريتيف تمام. of the past and the future فرح تمام. يكون في documentation لإلكم واضحة كيف تستخدمها 
Tani is she Koira Kaman? She prepared this mural. عشان نصير نسقط فيها كل الارتكلز اللي انعملت عبر سنين وحتى قسمتها للثيمز يعني حطت شيء بوليتيكال اكثر شيء مياه اكثر شيء يعني دخلتهم انوفيشن دخلتهم بديفرنت ثيم فهاي كمان رح تكون كثير مفيده عشان ريم لما هي تسقط كل الارتكلز تبعونها بهذا الميورال بهذا اللايف لينك رح نقدر نجمع كل الارتكلز مع بعض ونحكي هذا هو الداتا بيس تبعنا اللي نقدر نعتمد عليه نحن كلنا جميعا whenever we want our publications uh, and so on. اوكي. Okay. وثالث و- ايشو كمان I think Francesca is going to uh, comment on it uh, so I'll leave it uh, I'll leave it to her. Um, Marwa, I know you, your hand is up. Is yeah. There... I just you... had a, a small um, remark if I may let me just lower my hand down. I had a small uh, remark concerning uh, the um, Swiss Pavilion because during the event we were told that there is a certain a small section of the Swiss Pavilion about the Middle East, uh, mm. about the Blue Peace in the Middle East, and we were all excited to see it. Mm. But when we went down to see it, despite the fact that it was amazing, but the section related to Blue Peace uh, had zero. Uh, uh reflect on the history of the blue piece i mean the blue piece has been in effect since 2009 some of us were on board since 2011 others were on board since 2013 and on but it had nothing to do with all the trips the uh whether it was the learning uh, journeys or the actual high level meetings that we did which were uh basis to everything that we are seeing today so i was wondering whether this is just an, a completely new phase that we're not supposed to look past the, uh, to what happened before or uh, uh, is there something else that this uh, that this specific spot was uh, focusing about? I just wanted to make sure uh, this point so I could understand it easily. Thank you. Um, and I'll, I'll answer that because I had a talk with the, with the operations of the Swiss Pavilion and I asked the same question. And they were telling us that the problem was that the pavilion itself had to fit into a specific theme, which was the innovation. And they had to link it to multiple objectives. So some of the narrative was missed in the way that you say it, like you don't see blue piece footprint on it as much, but it, it, it tried to capture it. So for an outside there, yes, you will not see the blue piece footprint in it, but, uh, but for the theme of the expo itself and how it fits into the strategies, it was the only cross-cutting uh, part to it. So I hope this answers it. Um, Thank you. May. Hello, everyone. Uh, from my side, um, I tried, yani I agree with the, uh, Reem, but in terms of documentation of the process that Blue Peace has went through, um, I received, for instance, when I wrote uh, the English uh, version of the article, it was there. So it has shown the steps uh, since uh, 2011 until now. But when I wanted to publish it for uh, a media, Arabic media outlet, Ashar al Awsat, they insisted that people doesn't want to go through details. For me, I was keen to mention all the steps to tell people that, okay, this initiative is not new. It has been uh, يعني launched since 2011 and a lot of steps has been taken and the challenges and how we dealt with these things. So sometimes it's um, when you want to present these ideas to the audience, it depends. And people doesn't want um, very much details. They want um, like a conclusion. And uh, someone told me that when you write in English, uh, it's like a UN uh, report and that you are losing your journalistic skill. So I was surprised because for me, I, I tried to be very, professional as much as I can and do fact checking and every and, and uh, Francesca was very helpful and I used, uh, used to coordinate with her. So um, of course there should be like a, um, a background for all this information. I find some on the website and uh, because I have been involved in the initiative so I know all the, uh, the keystones يعني, that um, this initiative has passed through. Uh, but still, I want to ask Francesca and know how do we deal with these things for the Arabic audience? It's they want uh, very simple and uh, and not to go through details. 
while in English, they accept that we go through details and give the audience a wider perspective. Um, how do you deal with that? Um, I think, well, you, I mean, you don't maybe in Arabic, maybe you don't go through everything, but you can say this is a, a, an initiative that was established in 2011 um, and that has been building its experience through a whole range of activities for 12 years, then it's like a sentence and you indicate that it's like an established initiative, that there's a long track record without, you know, using a whole paragraph for it. Um, I don't know, of course, online it's, yeah, you, or you, you, if it's online, you could put a link to, not now, but when there's a great new website in many languages, you put a link to the website and then there, there'll be like this great overview of the whole history of the Blue Peace Middle East. Still need to build that, but you know, that could be a way for people who do want to see more, they could go, you know, they could click on and other people who just, you know, want the basics, they can just read the, the article as it is. Thank you. Okay. Should I carry on with my, um, my section? Think, yeah, I think that ties in nicely with um, yeah. what you want to talk about. And then maybe we can pick up on that point again um, towards the end, May. And uh, I think that we, we can build on a lot of what has been yeah. put up. Already. Yeah. Um, so hello, everyone. I'm so happy you're all here. And uh, I'm so happy I have all your brains to help me. Um, so I, I think a lot has already been said. Um, I just wanted to go quickly over the, as Maysam was saying, so for me, there's like three phases in the media involvement in Blue Peace. There's the first phase in which uh, journalists, all of you, many of you were very closely involved. You went along on all the trips, you attended all the meetings, you were informed of all the developments. Um, and you reported on that. Then there was the transition in 2019 to a regionally owned initiative, which is what we are in now. Um, and there a, a, a link was lost. So uh, there, because of the whole structure changing and also because of the foresight group not being in charge anymore, the link to many of you was lost, which is a huge waste and loss and should not be repeated. Um, and at the same time, MICT came in and started a more structured training of young journalists, which is also really important. Um, now for the next phase, which starts next January, um, I think what, what the, the, the roles you've had so far, so also in the first phase was very much that you were brought in to report on uh, the activities of the Blue Peace Middle East and your opinions were not so much asked. You could speak to experts and then formulate their opinions in your pieces, but you were not seen as experts. So I believe that that needs to change because I think that media is a really important aspect of what Blue Peace is trying to achieve. I also think that the coordination office, as, as, that is the new coordination office, which is in Wardam from next January, um, and also the members of the managing committee, they are all in agreement and they see the importance of having media as an integral part and not a kind of side afterthought. Um, so that's great. We all agree. But how do we then create a strategy and a, and, and a structure in which we can actually productively contribute to the aims of the Blue Peace Middle East? Um, so in my you you also have to correct me if i'm not right but in my view let's say the the reporting that you've done so far has been very much as my sam also said reactive so an event happens you report on it you also do your separate reporting on let's say on the ground uh, you know you go out into the field and you report on developments on water but there's no framework around it there's no structure that's guiding like there are no themes there is no it's all quite incidental and also i think as you've all raised there's no place where it all comes together so 
the idea or what I would really love to achieve together is that we build something more structured, uh, something more cohesive in which uh, there, there is a kind of a, you know, we all know where we're going, we're working together, uh, more collaboration as well. Also, so across, let's say, transboundary journalism, but also um, different disciplines. So I think we discussed this a bit also in Dubai that you have the traditional media and then you have the new media and one story that's written as a newspaper article, excerpts from that can also be reused on social media. We can use visuals more. Um, we can use different types of social media, which I think Marwa also has experience with uh, in, in the university where she teaches. Um, so this is the kind of things that I would love to get your input on. Uh, I would, I, I was trying to think of like what, so it's like a blue piece media platform. Um, and that we, in that, try to build an active network of journalists that is across the region, but also across, so we have younger journalists, uh, more senior journalists, um, and that we, I know that this is also what MICT and CWAS have been building for the past four years, but that we try to create a, um, a more coherent framework in which all of this can happen and that we are maybe also working along themes. Cora, could you um, give me the next slide? Right, so this is the wall of my office where I was brainstorming with myself uh, yesterday and today. Um, so I'm trying to look at what are our strengths, what is missing. I, I got that a lot out of all your comments from Dubai. Um, I was thinking, uh, could we work along themes that we all, let's say, it could be structured in different ways. It could be, you know, there's events. So next March, for example, there's a big UN conference on water in New York. Uh, next year, the World Water Theme Day, uh, the, the theme of World Water Day is climate change and water. So you could say, I'm totally, this is theoretical, right? But you could say, okay, and from, from January to March, we're covering climate change and water. And we're gonna look at like, how can we produce all sorts of output on that, that we share across all kinds of different platforms. So uh, we share it on the Blue Peace platforms, but also people write articles. We also try to have more visual input, uh, which is I think more, how people consume media now as people are so overloaded. Um, the other maybe interesting thing for us to use as a structure as well is that the next theme of the Blue Peace Middle East for the next four years from next January is going to be the WIFI nexus. So the water, energy, food, ecosystem nexus, how all these different elements connect, how use of water influences energy, vice versa, how food and water are connected. So this is like a very broad theme, obviously. There are going to be activities conducted in the four countries that are currently member of Blue Peace on this topic. This is all still to be defined, but we could also use this as an overarching theme. And then we think of sub themes within that on which we build projects. Um, these projects. So I, that's also, you know, I looked at Cora shared with me the slow journalism session of the COP uh, that was held last year, which was really interesting. Um, so that's, that was a, a German journalist who works really, he's focused on, on, uh, it's the Salton Sea in America, which is running dry. And he's really worked for years on documenting how the landscapes are changing, how the communities are affecting, are being affected. And he's then used that in a multimedia project. So that would be an amazing thing to do, but it might not be completely, you know, then it would be focused on one thing, but we could also choose one theme. Um, I also would like to use uh, languages because we're so far only working in English. Inwardam has the advantage of being a international organization 
and they have the capacity to provide translation as well. So we're going to aim for the website, which is going to be redesigned to be in different languages. Um, I think, so working in different languages is really challenging, but I also kind of thought about well, how come, how about we turn that around? How about we say it's our strength? How about we are, we are the, the, the Blue Peace Middle East, we are in the region and we are working in the languages of the region. Um, and I think that will, it will be challenging because I know that these translations can be tricky, but I think it will also give us huge more reach into general audience, which often now we sometimes, you know, I think you, many of you do write in Arabic, but it would be good to, you know, extend our reach also on social media. Um, Anyway, I'm not being very structured in what I'm talking about, but I have a lot of ideas and I would really like to get your feedback, your ideas um, and how you see where you could contribute. How, how would you like to see the next four years taking shape? Um, so I think we can maybe start with uh, May. You had your hand up. Uh, for me, as we have discussed, uh, Francesca, it's important to have a communication strategy in place and identify our objectives. We have, as you mentioned, we have uh, a network of experts uh, reporting on water, and I totally agree with the point of the themes. For instance, let's pick what are the world days that uh, are the, dedicated for climate change or water, food security. There are a lot of crises all over the world uh, because of climate change. So we can pick up on those days and those events um, and try to do uh, like um, some of the group focus on social media, others work on, on articles. So to be like in a consistent way, يعني, not just, okay, we go to, as, as Mason mentioned, it's reactive. We do to the conference and exactly. report what is going on. Yeah. So we do like themes, we have a plan for the year, a calendar, what exactly. you know, on this day, uh, so what will happen at the level of social media, who will report on climate change. For instance, we have uh, from Jordan, our friend um, Farah, uh, she reports on climate yeah. change. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have yeah, different uh, in uh, Jordan, uh, also uh, Reem and Lebanon, Sarah is doing a lot of uh, work on refugees, water, a lot of issues. Yani Sarah is very active on this. So me, I, I'm the less active because I have a full-time job. I'm not dedicating much time to this initiative. But of course, when things are organized and distributed, so each one can contribute to this. Okay, great, Thank great, great, great. Thanks. Thank you. Um, and Marwa, did you yeah. want to Yes, of course. I agree with everything that everyone's saying, but I uh, like things to be more organized. And why I say this, because we might have the content to be provided for that department that is supposed to be uh, directly uh, coordinating what's going, what goes on, on uh, social media, for example. What do I mean? I mean that you guys, whether it's in CWAS and MICT or uh, with the SDC, there should be a team at the, let, let us, let me say like starting with two people, uh, a team that's always there, that's always there on every part of your uh, uh, meetings on uh, whether high level uh, meetings, whether media uh, uh, sessions and media training sessions or whether uh, journeys like this or covering events like that, which uh, Francesca was talking about. Why two? Because one should be handling the content and the second one should be handling the media, the multimedia process, which means that this this team can coordinate with these uh, journalists who have direct access with experts and direct access to uh, information because they've been part of the blue piece for the past 10 plus years and those two would have access to uh, media tools like Adobe Premiere or Illustrator which are softwares they use in order to create content so they take data from us on whatever specific event that they are going to cover and they do it because this is a full-time job exactly. you can't expect 
you can't expect yeah. exactly you can't expect people who have different uh, yani, for example you can come and ask me must, must for example you could say but when marwa can you do like once a, a month something I, I i say no i'm sorry because i have to present a proposal to my boss back at the uh, television and uh, according to his approval i actually go through with my uh, work and because my work is focused on politics I can do about blue piece, for example, once or twice a year. I, can, I, I cannot give it more than that, but I can give all the data that I have. I could do interviews for this uh, like um, group or for this department of which you can call the multimedia department, for example, and they work directly in coordination with you and with us, we can give them content, you can give them content, but they work on a weekly, if not daily basis or on an event basis by having a Facebook. First of all, we need a website, a Facebook page, an Instagram page, a Twitter account and a TikTok account as well. This way we would be on all platforms, reaching all audience and at the same time, reminding people all the time that we are here. We exactly. are a exactly. source of information about this and we are present in real time. So it is a full time job. We can act as helpers, supporters for yeah. content but, creating, okay. but we cannot really do no, the content but, creation. Part. Sorry, I was I was not I wasn't complete. Inwardam has a media section and they are hiring media. So they're going to hire someone specifically on social media and then there's going to be someone specifically on the rest of media so that it, we're still defining but there is a media team that is so unlike in the current uh coordination office in suen they don't really have anyone on media and it's like mustafa and tuba who are you know already overwhelmed with work and they are water engineers and it's not their job to do that the, the so there will be that will be different so that that Certainly, and I totally take your point. And I also, having now done it for a few weeks on my own, it's it, uh, social media is a full time job. So I totally take that, and you are completely right. But we might need your help because you know so much about it. So we'll need to get you in as a. No as problem. A, I'm always okay. ready to help with everything, especially with uh, with yeah. how this should be made and how yeah. fast it should be. What kind of multimedia it should be used. I'm, yeah. I'm there. It's yeah. fine. But the issue is. You, you need to have a special unit that follows you every, yes, everywhere. There will follows be. Follows the events everywhere. Yeah. And I also, the other thing I, sorry, I wanted to say, which I know that lots of you have flagged and which I have registered and, and also mentioned to all the, all the BP people is that you need to know what is the outcomes of meetings, the way you used to be able to sit in on the meetings. This needs to be rectified. At the moment, there's a kind of a, this needs to be addressed in the next managing committee meeting because there is this unwritten rule we haven't found anywhere where it's written but right now they are operating on the chatham house rules so that means that everything that's discussed in a meeting cannot be reproduced or shared it's not written anywhere i don't know who decided that but even if that's the case they need to put out some kind of conclusion of meetings so that you as a, as the journalists are kept up to date about what is actually going on because otherwise you're completely shut out and that's not uh, what we want so okay i will lower my hand yeah i'm interested to hear about anyone else who wants to build on marwa's point um or anything else that, that uh, francesca said uh, because i think it's very interesting um what you said about having a uh, needing structure in order for, uh, for, for you guys to have a clear idea of what your role is um but actually producing th things that um people want to read and um i was also thinking you know maybe having ambassadors would be a way to strengthening uh the community obviously like you say you guys have got full-time jobs you're you can only dedicate so much time to the VP, but um, that there are younger journalists who are hungry for experience, who want uh, to be part of a network, and maybe that's something that could be considered. Um, does anyone else want to give some uh, feedback or have anything else to say about that? Hannah has her hand raised. Can I, yeah. Can I Yes, of course. Um, I just want to add something touching on Francesca's um, um, uh, point regarding the meetings that we as journalists would not be um, in, filled in with the details. We don't have to know the every 
single detail that happened inside the meeting, but it is very important for us to know that a meeting happened, who attended and what was discussed and what, why was the meeting uh, organized and what's the conclusion. Um, from that, we can decide to write something. We can uh, draw one idea and write something about it. And that's how we always make sure that Blue Peace is being written about the whole uh, year, not just when there was a meeting, when there was um, a, a conference, a big conference. That's how it's always present, um, whether in social media or in newspapers, on TV or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a point taken. And I'm, yeah, I'm, I haven't, I mean, I've been flagging it. It's just something that the managing committee needs to make a decision on, on how then that is communicated. But it will be taken care of. Uh, yeah, Hassan. Yes. Uh, just wanted to. I mean, I'm not a journalist, but like I've been involved a little bit in uh, group piece, uh, and I was in Dubai. And uh, following the conversation, I think uh, one of the goals is uh, to uh, to change the narrative or like to. Uh, yeah, to support a narrative on better understanding water issues in the region. And as Francesca was saying, also maybe uh, having themes, uh, for instance, uh, next year could be climate change and water in line with the yearly theme. Um, what could be done maybe is uh, like to organize, like once there is this theme, to organize maybe a couple of meetings, uh, even online, similarly to what we did in Dubai, where we bring uh, a couple of experts. Uh, exactly. uh, we have like a, a presentation by them and then journalists can also maybe present or uh, and then have a conversation and ask questions to these experts on that team that you choose uh, and this might facilitate uh, having more coverage of that topic uh, on that specific year yeah definitely 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 yeah Sorry, I was just saying that we are, we are going to continue, obviously, these discussions. That's why we've got, uh, we've organized these four COPs. Um, and hopefully by the end of it, we'll have a clearer uh, communication strategy and we'll have a clear idea of, of where we're heading. Um, any more points that you want to raise? Any questions? Great. In that case um i will now share with you yes may if i may suggest i don't know if it's feasible or not we attend meetings yes but we need studies to be produced by this community blue piece it's not only like they can do a policy paper something um for instance on the wi-fi nexus and it's good to have meetings and report uh, what was happening there but also we need to give our audience like a policy paper. How do we see this nexus? What's gonna, going on? Not just, uh, you know, statements for officials. In my opinion, we have something more concrete that shows or reflects uh, the cooperation between the five countries in the initiative. Yeah, yeah. No, this is, this is foreseen. They are going to be working le less. I think the emphasis is less on reports because of reports ending up on shelves and no one reading them. Yeah. Uh, but there is going to be, the, actually, there's more of an emphasis on concrete projects, like on the ground, transboundary, wifi projects. So there will be themes. Uh, I can't yet really talk. I mean, I don't know what, what they will be. Um, one yeah, thing that, but Francesca, yeah, yeah because, yeah, sorry to interrupt you, because yeah. when I was uh, uh, negotiating with the Cheryl Austin newspaper, they said, okay, guys, you meet. You have uh, meetings, you have conferences, but tell me on the ground, what are you doing? What have been achieved in terms of enhancing cooperation, transboundary water yeah. cooperation? So yeah. we have to think what the audience is expecting from us mm -hmm. more. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is my point. Thank you. Yeah, no, I get that. But so there will be definitely uh, policy papers and reports. I, I, so reports, I'm not sure, but policy papers and 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 yeah, uh, policy advocacy will be part of it. Um, 
And then there will be concrete projects on the ground, either transboundary or small scale in one country, but then that would be a pilot project that could be scalable and repeatable in another in another country. Um, all of this is still to be worked out. So they're still in the beginning phases, but there will be. So I think in this past four year phase, there was the water use efficiency project, and that was being implemented in Turkey. In the next phase, there's going to be in four countries, different projects. So there will be more output and we will also hopefully not have Corona. So we'll actually be able to do things and go places. So that will hopefully help with also being able to write something interesting and not just about Zoom meetings. So I'm Thank you. hopeful about that. Um, yeah, I think that's a very interesting point to me that you've raised. And I guess it goes back to accountability and, and um, you know, making sure that the blue piece or showing the audience that they are actually doing what they say they're doing. Um, Hannah, you also want to say something? Yes, I have a question. I would like to know about the coming blue piece phase. Is it going, because uh, Francesca just said projects between countries in the region. Uh, the blue piece started with uh, trying to bring together the countries of the region to uh, work on transboundary water resources and involving politics in this, of course. How is this going to be in the coming phase or is it just, or is it going to be implemented by doing uh, uh, country scale projects on water and wastewater? I mean, what's what's the coming phase? I don't, I don't understand until now. What are we going yeah. to? Yeah. Um... So the, the, the principle is still the same. It's about uh, building trust, strengthening cooperation between countries. Uh, one of the ways of strengthening cooperation and, and building trust is by physical small scale projects. I'm not saying it's gonna be wastewater, uh, but I, I get what you mean. So this is one of the challenges at the moment or what we're working on and discussing is that you want projects that actually, uh, even if it's a, if even if it is like a small scale pilot project in one of the countries, you want that to also be uh, translated to a policy level and to actually have a political like to to be able to show like this is a like if you do a project, the the the, the problem is about confidence and trust between countries. So we want to do transboundary projects. But there needs to be the trust from from let's say two or three countries where that is still lacking it is then better to start on a small local scale and let's take the example of dust storms uh dust storms is actually a perfect example because let's say i think the whole region is suffering from dust storms to various degrees iraq undeniable the worst but between iran and turkey like in the media in the past week, there's a lot of finger pointing. So like it's Turkey's fault, Iraq says it's Iran's fault, Iran, okay. So in the sense of like, maybe you cannot yet have a transboundary project on dust storms, but maybe you can do a project in Iraq on how do we mitigate the effect of dust storms? And then Turkey will, you know, will hopefully acknowledge they also have a problem with dust storms and we need to work on this together. This is a shared pro problem for everyone. F pointing fingers at each other and saying you built a dam and that's why I have a dust storm is not gonna help anyone. So hopefully that, that kind of thing would be the thing that we would aspire to do as the Blue Peace Middle East, building confidence. And, and that's where media becomes really important because right now in the media, the narrative is super negative and very much blaming the neighbor Whereas it's a problem that, you know, is even a problem in Jordan and in Syria as well. And I don't know, in Lebanon, but it's it's across the region. It's you can see that this is coming up. So how can we together work on finding a solution? Um, so I think that's that's the 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 out, you know, that's the outlook of what we of what Blue Peace wants to be achieving. Uh, the details, you know, I can't yet talk about concretely because they're still being being formulated does that 
answer your question a bit? Yeah, thank you. Uh, Reem? Um, uh, I want to ask my colleagues, the journalists, the journalists uh, uh, about if they agree, if they, uh, if uh, we have um, a calendar for the six months uh, upcoming uh, to write about topics, uh, uh, limited topics. Uh, every month we have uh, a topic that we can write uh, about. And in this topic, uh, we uh, can mention the Blue Peace uh, initiative in this report or TV show. What do you think? answer uh well i guess i guess that's going back to Frante what francesca um, suggested initially um, okay so i think going back to madawa's point about obviously they're really needing uh, to be a ah. group who's responsible uh for managing that content uh for publishing it um i think if you know it depends on your interest you know we're here for, for you and it's up to uh to you if you have uh the the initiative and the or the, the time the uh the interest to do yeah. it yeah i can do it but um i, I want to share the um, this thing with uh, uh, my colleagues if uh, they couldn't okay i can do it here in jordan inshallah well, I think like if we we said that it would be good to have this uh, platform that we can all access. I know that we have the Blue Peace um, WhatsApp group, and that's obviously a good place to to share publications or upcoming events, etc. Uh, but taking your uh, what you've said about having a bit of a structure around themes, um, we could have a, a plat this platform where we um, have a, a bit of a, a general schedule or plan um, to, to cover different themes, uh, especially now that we're in this transitional phase. And then obviously once uh, Irwa Dan um, takes over, then uh, th there might be more changes, but um, Hannah. Yeah, well, actually it would be better if there, you know, if it would be amazing if, if we start now with a kind of schedule that, you know, whoever can, can, you know, go, we go with the schedule and, and write about those themes, does it? And, and that we're already, let's say, preparing for the next phase and, you know, let's say announcing that Blue Peace is back and, and well, as Marwa said, you know, like, amplifying the presence of Blue Peace, which has been virtually, you know, absent from all media for the past four years. So that we're like slowly building that up and that we're like showing that we're back. I think that would be yes. great. And then, yes. and then and it would hopefully, question? yeah. And then it would hopefully transition, not with too many changes, but smoothly into the next phase where Inwar Dam takes over. But then that, 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 you know, I'm working with them on the outreach strategy. Uh, so it's not going to be like then they come in and then they say something completely different. Like we're going to then make it smooth and consistent and we're building something that is for the next four years. Yeah, uh, um, I think uh, Reem, it's a good idea, but I was wondering how are we going to every month incorporate the blue piece in new theme? I'm, I think it needs brainstorming on. Yeah, yeah, but we can brainstorm. Yeah. We, can. On, on we can have like a meeting that. online. Yeah, uh, yeah. ideas on stories and ideas that yes. are relevant to the blue piece. Yeah. Oh. Yes. 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 Um. Yeah, I've shared with you. Uh, just it's pretty much a blank mural page. But um, if uh, I know you obviously won't have a lot of time to dedicate to this, but if you just dump stuff there any ideas any you know i'm going to do a bit of a recap of what we've discussed today um if you have any publications you want to share instead of just sharing them on the whatsapp group just you know i encourage you to put them there so that we start creating a bit of a uh a platform of database and useful yeah. resources. Right. A, blue piece um, a blue piece yeah. a blue piece yeah exactly 
I, I love that idea. Yeah. Yeah. Lucy's great. Fair. Um, and then obviously, you know, we are working, it always bo- it boils down to the lack of funds, the lo- lack of resources to invest yeah. in. Um, yeah. But like Francesca was saying, if we start to do what we can, um, then hopefully once there are more, there is more to invest in it. And once we can spend more time in it and the and, and Irwan, the team, the media team that can spend more time in it, then it can start to grow. Um, but let's just to keep this going let's try and do what we can and and then we'll have uh another three cop meetings and again i know you're very busy but if you can attend even if it's just it doesn't have to be the whole hour even if it's just the half hour or just to kind of uh show your face and and say a few things it's super valuable and it keeps this interaction going um and yeah we don't want to lose it obviously um, and I'm just going to quickly write, um, raise my last point. Um, so we have, uh, we've now done our first COP. We have our next COP on the 8th of June, and we're going to cover the topic, topic of production and reach. Um, and it's something that, you know, we've brought up a, a little bit today. Um, and how we can work with different formats. I think language, what you raised May about language um, could also be touched um, touched on. And we know that obviously you're the experts and some of you do cover that topic very thoroughly. So um, would anyone, you don't have to tell us right now, uh, but if any of you would like to assist us in in pre- um, preparing the the next session or, or take the lead in the next session have you know talk for for 10-15 minutes about uh, improving production and reach um, it would be a nice way to kind of like give you the lead and also like I say you're the ones with the expertise um, so that's the second one and the third one will be the 29th of June. And that's one of the very important topics that um, was raised as well, or was always raised uh, amongst journalists uh, in the region. And, and it's the lack of access to data uh, and, and network. I mean, obviously you already have an access to different networks, but how can we increase that? How can we have access to better data? Um, so yeah, have a think about this. And if any of you w- would like to have some some good input for this, then please let us know. Um, and I think, yeah, my son. Okay, uh, I haven't raised my hand because I want to assist in the facilitating the session because that would be boring. Uh, it's it's me again. Uh, so no, I, I think the, the idea comes from you know having again uh the the facilitation uh supported again we're not expecting a lot of uh you know uh preparation time or anything like that i think it could be uh you know showcasing of a good example that we can actually benefit from i know we have mentioned you know uh production and reach in the in the event using multiple tools social media but also the not very uh, attractive social media to most uh, of us who are 30 years old plus, which is TikTok. Uh, so it could be showcasing of one good example of how actually people advocate for causes using these untraditional tools or uh, something that we can actually uh, benefit from. Uh, on the third uh, meeting, I think the database, building a database and a network of not only, uh, you know, papers and articles, but also of contacts and, and people who are in the in the field. I think that's also a very important session. So I think uh, don't don't worry, it's not a lot of preparation time. We can always have a briefing before uh, just to prepare ideas. And it could be, again, 10 or 15 minutes of showcasing something, could be slides, a video, a few photos, and then run a discussion around it. I think it would be much more fun and I think much more interactive. And interesting. <laughs> Literally, for me, anything that is about TikTok or Snap, I, I've never even been on them. I don't even know what it is. So it doesn't need to be very high I level. Help out a bit since I actually teach this okay. stuff. In, yeah, exactly. 
Thank you. I, Thank I, you. I'll be back to help. The issue is I'll get back to you within two days because at the 8th, I'm not sure is I'm, if I'm leaving Lebanon on the 8th or the 9th of June because I have a long trip to Cuba. So I don't know well, if I'm going to okay. be with internet or not. I'll have the, uh, um, I'll know within two days, I'll contact Cora and, and maybe organize it with her, but I'll be happy to join in and talk a bit about it. And especially about how even my boss keeps snagging on me to go on TikTok and I say, never get the thing out of my face, but I'm going to say why and why it's important yeah. for a younger generation. Great. To, I'm 34. I, I do. I am still like relatively young, but not that young anymore so i'll talk about this and and and, and talk about the importance of having that like maybe interns at the blue piece how important yeah. that would be interns yeah. i mean yeah. 18 18 yeah. 19 20 who are energetic who know how to uh, surf the internet i'll be happy to take part i'll just give you my feedback within two days and matter what, if you can't on the eighth we can always uh, switch the topics no worries thank you thank oh you. i'm sure that because that that sounds really interesting and i would also love to know about why you decide not to uh to <laughs> <use TikTok. laughs> uh, I think I'm with you on that one um great so does anyone else want to um I mean regarding the ac accessing uh data um uh, and expanding uh and the network of experts uh, if anyone is interested in this or has anything to say about it please um let me know uh, we've got lots of time. So, um, yeah, and so I've shared with you the mural link. Please keep hold of it. Um, we can build on that. And, and then it's kind of like a good reference. <clears throat> and yes, I think. Great. Thank this... you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this nice meeting, everyone. Yeah. Thank you so much you all for it. your input. Thank you. And Great ideas seeing and... you all. Yeah. Love Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a nice weekend. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. 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 Okay. All right. I I think uh, Adil was logged in, but uh, maybe not on the audio. So maybe I'll. Bye bye, Adil. Bye bye, Reem. Bye, my son. Wallahi, my son, let's talk about it between you and me later. I mean, on the story of the Okay? Okay, okay, inshallah. Inshallah. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Reem. Bye. Bye. Bye, Francesca. Bye, bye. Bye. Okay. Well, we've actually done quite well uh, with the timekeeping. 13 minutes over. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we usually go way over. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so that was really good. Thanks, uh, Francesca. Um, I was a bit spaced out. I'm, I hope that made sense. Um, where did Nadine go? Mm. Maybe she didn't realize we're doing a deep briefing or something. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think. It, anyway, I, mean, I thought it was great. It was very useful uh, just to connect them back in. To see, I, I think just it's really important. They've been so neglected for the past four years that it's really good that this, you know, that you organized this uh, after Dubai, that they don't feel like, okay, we went to Dubai and now we're again not hearing anything for six months. Like that they, you know, they see that there's, it's going somewhere. Um, and hopefully uh, we can keep them engaged. Um, I'm wondering if, would it work if one of them reported, one, once the, the next phase of the BP is clear and um, it can be written about, would it make sense to get one of them to write a, an article or a, I don't know, like? I know, like, look, so in May, in June, there's a managing committee meeting. There, they're going to approve the WIFI concept note and also discuss like actual projects that they're gonna do. Uh, I think then that's not yet set in stone, but I think one, if, if Reem is serious about this, you know, next six month schedule, 
I think one of the themes, you know, Marwan from Inwardam has already talked about this, like there needs, like there needs to be more reporting on what is Wi-Fi because that's also, you know, so that's actually one of the tasks also of the journalists within the blue piece is that we're starting this topic, which certainly general audience people don't really know what it is. So there's a huge scope for covering, first of all, what is this nexus? And then all the different, you know, puzzle pieces within it, like how does energy influence water and how does food influence water, you know, all these things. There's a, there's a it's an endless series of, of, of topics you can come up with. Uh, but definitely, yeah, if once this Wi-Fi is, is more concrete, like what is the Blue Peace project, then I think there's, you know, I think Blue Peace can then also provide them with like an outline of what projects they're planning, um, mm -hmm. how they, you know, how they are going to approach it from a transboundary point of view, um, why it's important to do it on a regional level, stuff like that. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I would say, uh, Francesca, even uh, experts uh, sometimes don't know what uh, what Wi-Fi uh, Nexus right. uh, is yeah. because we did um, so far three workshops in 2017, 18 and 19 on the topic and um, we brought uh, experts from different uh, from energy uh, and uh, food and water at that time we did not uh, consider uh, the ecosystem or environment uh, mm -hmm. uh, specialists yeah, yeah. but uh, all of them applied as though they have been working on the topic but basically they were working separately they were tackling energy and then they were tackling water but there is no link between the two yeah yeah um there is one expert i'm not sure in egypt if um, i think uh, his name is hamu Lamrani. he works with um uh, with the arab league uh, mm -hmm. appointed by giz um his specialty is water energy food nexus and that's his appointment ah, there okay. mm -hmm. um so he might be of help uh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, he works around the region yeah yeah uh, yeah, I was really glad Reem actually raised that. It's great that she was like so, you know, uh, willing to already start now and to engage. And it's great. It's great. Um, so I think, uh, I hope Marwa does the next one because I think she really knows so much about this social media uh, stuff. Um, so I... Um, you want to... Um... At attend the following the next one, Francesca. Yes, please. Yes, yeah, please. I mean, um, we should be begging you to. No, no, no. no. <laughs> and I, I think the we are in transition now between you know phases just ended and now the new phase in development yeah. still with a new organization taking the coordination yeah. role. I think, of course, there is uh, less clarity now than maybe a few years back it's because it's a transition period. The more clarity we have on you know, what the scope of the new phase will be, the more excitement that we will see because, again, they're looking at maybe... Uh, SDC, but also the, the, the organizations involved on, uh, you know, how to tell them, you know, what's going to happen, how can, yeah, we, yeah. Uh, uh, ca can they be involved and what their role would be, and maybe also time planning. And that's, I think the calendar thing might be very useful uh, because of course they're busy with their own jobs yeah. and, and uh, other commitments. Yeah. Uh, so they need to know how how often are, are they gonna be involved and for how long and so on. So maybe uh, you mentioned June, uh, Francisca, I think that's uh, it's not far from now that we might have better clarity, hopefully by that time. Yeah, on it's end of June is the, is the MC meeting. And then, uh, so what I expect from that, that they're gonna approve the actual, just the outline Mm -hmm. And then there will be discussion about, you know, concrete projects. Uh, but I think there, that won't be immediately, uh, let's say, put into. Uh, yeah, it, that will be action. like a discussion of like which country wants to do what, which institutions in which countries uh, will become involved. Uh, but, you know, I, but the latest by September, all of this needs to be set in stone into the SDC system. So by then mm -hmm, we need to mm -hmm. have every, I mean, we have to write the project document and it all needs to be approved by big people in Switzerland. So by then there should be definite de details of, of partnerships, projects, etc. Uh, does that include uh, projects that are 
under the umbrella of the new phase also? Yeah, I mean, everything, the whole thing. Uh, okay, which means that organizations that need to jump on, on the train and, and uh, deliver something they need to... Uh... Uh, yeah, so I also realized that you are part of that. Um, and so now I, I think you know that the, the next phase of uh, Blue Peace Middle East is going to be... Uh, it, it will not be the way it was last time, that everything is contracted under SDC. Mm -hmm. It's going to be contracted under the coordination office, so it would be Inwardam contracting you as a media uh, organization, uh, and there I will be in touch with, I'm not sure, so at, at CWAS is it you and Hannah, or who should I be in touch with? I, uh, I need to be in touch with Nadine and Dirk, and then... Yes. I think Hana would make sense as a first okay. uh, focal point, yeah. and I am here to help in case yeah, needed yeah. for any discussion yeah. or any other. I think it um, could be useful to have a discussion with you, me, with you guys on like how do you see your role in the next phase, and then possibly setting up in the quite you know like next week or the week after a discussion with Inwardam um, on how we could shape this your you know your media let's say the media arm of the Blue Peace Middle East in the next phase, because right. it's going to be, you know, in the, I think you were aware that everything was very fragmented in the last phase and we want to avoid that. Like we want yes. there to be uh, a much closer connection between the, the regional mechanism as they call it, let's say the, the, the managing committee, the PAC, the, the coordination office and media, there needs to be much closer cooperation. Okay. Um, and, and should we run after you for that uh, next meeting or should we passively wait for I'm you? I'm going to, to send you an email now. I've already mm -hmm. written half of it. I, I was okay. just, uh, yeah. And, and then I'll, hopefully we can first have a meeting between ourselves early next week and then follow up with Inwardam after that. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so okay. much. Cool. Okay. Great. Um, you want to say something before? Yeah. Oh, yeah.